the most common tool you will use in Microsoft Project when setting up your tasks will be linking. Let's see what the simplest way is to link tasks. Select all the tasks in the proper order. Click on the link button of the ribbon. If the tasks are not set to the automatically scheduled mode, then Microsoft Project will not schedule them automatically when you link them. So, if you want to take advantage of Microsoft Project's automatic scheduling, first you have to change the mode of the tasks. Let's do this. Select all tasks. Click on the auto schedule button of the ribbon. Click on the task that is to be completed first. Control and click to the next task. Click on the link icon of the ribbon. All of the information about a task can be found in its task information window. Let's access this window to change the type of link between two tasks. We will make sure that the second task of the link cannot finish before the first task of the link has started. We don't want to change the project start date in the process, so we may have to do a small adjustment. Find task 3, double click on it, go to the predecessors tab, add task 2 to the list, change the link type to start to finish. Move task 3 to the start date from the GAN chart using the mouse. There are four types of links that you can use to link the tasks with one another. Let's see how to change a link to an FF link, which means that the second task of the link cannot finish until the first one has finished. Double click on task 9. Go to the predecessors tab. Change the link type to FF. One more link type is the SS type. This means the first task of the link has to start for the second task of the link to be able to start as well. This doesn't mean, of course, they have to start together. The second task can start at any time after the first one has started. Double click on task 11. Go to the predecessors tab, change the link type to SS. The default link type of Microsoft Project is the FS link type, which means that the first task of the link has to finish for the second one to start. Let's see how we can change a link type back to the default. Go to task 79. Double click on the task. Go to the predecessors tab. Change the link type. A task's predecessor is the first task in a link with it. So if tasks 2 and 3 are linked, then the predecessor of task 3 is task 2. 
There are a lot of ways to change the predecessor of a task, but definitely the simplest is by changing its value in the entry table. Click on the predecessor cell of the last task. Change the value to 1. Right click on task 10 and select Reschedule the task from the menu Options.